Hi, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be demonstrating a new stitch. I have knit with this stitch multiple different projects, baby blankets, cardigans, baby cardigans, baby sweaters, dishcloth, anything that you can think of. It's a very beautiful, nice looking um, stitch. I don't have an example to show you, but I will be demonstrating on this yarn. I grabbed this yarn at Walmart. It's 100% cotton and I thought, oh, this would be great with this yarn, this pattern. Um, the pattern, I don't know the name of it, but I'm going to call this foam, ocean foam, seas foam. You know, when the uh, water splashes with the waves and brings that foamy white look. So I thought this would look great with this uh, nice uh, ocean, ocean green or blue the white and the green so I'm gonna demonstrate it okay so if you want this yarn you can grab it at Walmart and I think Michael carries it too I'm in Canada this is all we have here but uh, in the States you have so many different stores you can go and grab them from it's uh, yarnspiration.com burnout yarn uh, I'm just showing you I don't know which color it is so I'm just showing you Oh, here it is, mode stripes. Okay, and it says use uh, 4.5 needles or five crochet hook. And the bigger needles you use with the thicker uh, yarn you use, this pattern will look great. I just love it. The stitch that we're gonna work on. Okay, so I grab one of my needles and this is a uh, this is a five because I knit, knit tight. I'm going to use the five. Here it is. And to uh, knit this stitch, you need multiple of nine plus three. So I'm going to go 36 plus three. 36 stitches plus uh, three stitches, so 39. Like I said uh, on my previous. Uh, tutorials I uh, I make eight nine inches uh, uh, dishcloth so I checked count the stitches and I'm gonna work with a total of 39 okay so just cast on. This is how I cast on. This is one of my methods. I like the edge of this. So a total of uh, 39 stitches. I love this green. I love green. <laughs> if you go and check my Etsy shop, you will see lots of this green. <sighs> Lime green, apple green, green. Okay, so cast on total of... Um, 39 stitches and if you want to make a baby blanket you go you could just go nine times blah 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 and plus three yeah so baby blankets oh it looks lovely on baby blankets I just love this stitch it gives that foamy look that texture it gives you that 3d look at the same time so cast on and I'll meet you 39 stitches Okay, so I cast on a total of 39 stitches, and this is how it looks like so far. Yeah, the further I go, the blurry it becomes. I hate this camera. <laughs> I wish I knew. There must be a way to have it focus somewhere. Well, anyways, so 39 stitches, and this is the front of the work. This is how you understand when the uh, tail, tail is on, on your uh, left side. This is the right side of the work, so we're going to turn. It's going to be the wrong side of the work. Okay, I'm not going to do any border or anything just because this is going to be a dishcloth and I'm going to do my regular edging. So I'm just going to jump into the stitch, but other than this, um, you have to knit like a rib stitch or anything like pearl stitches to have the border. So for the first... Uh, for the first row, I'm just going to knit, just knit, like this is the back of the work. 
So I'm just going to regular knit the yarn on the front like a purl stitch and then uh, I'm just going to begin just like this and the stitch, the pattern starts on the front of the work so this is how I knit. I knit Portuguese or Turkish style so I have the yarn on my neck and this is how I knit. If you want to look at it closely it's very easy and I'm a, I'm a fast knitter so just use my thumb here just like this. Just go like this and this is a purl stitch. Okay and when we come to the front we're going to start the stitch. So the stitch, the pattern is done in a couple of rows. So four so we're, yeah, I'll show you before I describe anything. You can write down, I'm sure there's a written pattern pattern for somewhere, but like I said, I don't follow written pattern and I don't have a written pattern, but I'm sure there is. But other than that, you can write down what I am explaining because I'm going over and over and please do not ask if I have a written pattern. I don't have a written pattern. Okay, so we're almost done the purl stitch, yarn on the front, so this is the wrong side of the work. Okay, and I have the green color. Here we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is, this is going to be the front of the work, and we're going to start. What we're going to do is we're going to knit yarn on the front. I'm not going to knit the first stitch and I'm just going to go same as this. So the front is going to be knitted yarn on the front. Oops, what happened here? Yeah, even these cotton yarn split. Okay, we fix that. From the bottom of the stitch. So the first row is purl stitch yarn on the front so we that this is all we do and when we come to the wrong side of the work we're going to have the yarn on the back so we're going to do the plain old knit so we're doing the opposite so what we're doing is from the front we're doing the purl stitch and when we do the uh, back we do the knit stitch yarn on the back Okay, so this is all to it. We just do the purl stitch. I'm uh, knitting with cable. I've been knitting <laughs> top-down garments, sweaters, <laughs> uh, shrugs. So I've been used. To, I am used to using the circular needle and. I have a whole bunch of straight needles which I don't use. Okay, so we've done the front of the work and we're going to turn our work and this is the wrong side of work and what we're going to do is we're going to do the opposite. So what you see is what you do. So we're going to have the yarn on the front and I usually don't knit the first stitch. So just slip it and just like this. Yarn on the back and so we're going to do this total of four, four rows of knit and four rows of, four rows of purl stitch and four rows of uh, knit stitch, just like this. So we're creating that foamy look, that bubbly look, and it just looks great. Especially if you're uh, going to knit a baby for a boy, a baby blanket, if you use the blue yarn. Oh, it just looks great. Okay, my yarn is a chain. Still green. You know that this is the first time I'm using these new stripe yarns, the cotton yarns. Yeah. Okay. So we're almost done. You 
can make a beautiful baby cardigan with this top down or even down down top bottom top up I can get one okay so this is almost done even for baby hats okay so I did one row and I'm doing the second row second row of a knit uh, pearl just like this so I have two more to go so if you want to continue knitting like this because it's time consuming there's like 39 st stitches and so far this is how it looks like just give you a look here and this is how it looks like from the back first stitch we did the pearl stitch so continue knitting. So this is the second, third, and four row you do the purl stitch and four row you do the knit stitch. And I'll meet you when we come back to create that chevron that we pick up, pick up the stitches to create that, that, uh, pin, uh, that pinch that we grab it from here to create the foam. And I'll meet you at the beginning here. Okay, so I have a knitted total of four rows of uh, purl stitch and four rows of knit stitch. And this is how it looks like. It just looks like a plain old knit or a stuck in knit stitch. That's all to it. Okay, so this is this row is going to change the look of this stitch. Um, it's going to give you that... Uh, yeah, that wavy look, that foamy look. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to move this stitch here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just knit. Just going to. Okay, so I'm just going to knit the next stitch yarn on the back just like this and I'm going to do a yarn over and I'm going to knit the following two stitches just like this and what I'm going to do is I am going to knit these two stitches together just grab it like this this way so it will face your left side. This two two stitches. So we got rid of that. Remember, we did a yarn over here. We got rid of that yarn uh, extra stitch, and we're going to do the same here. But this way, we're going to go like this between the two stitches, and just grab it. Oops, I went between. Just grab that yarn. Just like this. So this stitch is going to look slanting towards your right side. So they're slanting towards each other. Okay, this is my trick. This is how I knit. You can do a slip slip stitch. <laughs> There's another way. But this is how I do it. And I am going to knit these two stitches. To one, two, separately. I'm going to do a yarn over and I'm going to knit another stitch. So we have total of two, four, six, eight, nine. And this is the extra stitch. Total of nine stitches. Okay. So this is one of the foams. As you can see, it's pulling, it's pulling this way to give that foamy look. This is going to be the foamy. Oh, looks nice with the white yarn. Change it, the color changed. Okay, so after this, we're going to be repeating what we did. So this is one of the nine stitches. Okay, so we did a yarn over. We did a one uh, knit stitch. We're going to do another yarn over. We're going to knit the two stitches separately, one, two. And then we're going to knit these two stitches together, just like this. How I grab it, I'll show it to you. So I go between these two stitches from the back and I grab it 
you don't have to do what I do I'm just showing you but uh, if you know your way just do your way <laughs> and so slanting this way and I'm going to knit these two together from here from the front grab these two stitches grab a loop and pull it and this will face towards just like that so I'm going to knit two stitches Okay, so I'm going to do a yarn over, knit one. So this is the second mo motif or the second pattern. And you can feel the stitches are pulling, like it's pinching this way. Because we're, we're uh, knitting four stitches together to create that. And when we do the yarn over, this part is relaxing. Okay, so again, yarn over. Knit two. Knit two together. And then from here, okay. Knit two together from this way. Again, knit two. Did I do a yarn over? I don't want to miss the yarn over. Well, if I miss it, I can grab it later. So do a yarn over, knit one. So this is the third. Now we're doing the fourth. Yarn over, knit two. Knit these two together, just like that. And then knit one, two, yarn over, knit one, ta-da! And then this is the last stitch. This is all to it. And you can feel it. <laughs> yeah, okay. So when we turn our work, this is how it looks like from the wrong side of the work. Okay, so on the wrong side of the work we're going to do what we see so we see purl stitches so we're just gonna knit yarn on the front this is the back side of the work so slip the first stitch and then just knit a yarn on the front just like this can be a little bit of a uh, tight because we did two knits together so the thicker yarn you use the thicker uh, needles you use this pattern will show nicely just like this yarn on the front I saw this uh, on one of the Facebook groups a lady she did a cowl and she was she posted a picture of it and I thought oh that's, that's a familiar stitch but the pattern like was on Ravelry I didn't ever check it but I thought well I know how to knit that stitch that I don't need a pattern so you just knit like a scarf and you sew the two sides and you make a cowl it's a very easy if you know how to knit the stitch that's no problem at all okay this is all to it so we're going to repeat what we did on the first row we're going to repeat and we're going to do it we're going to do it to a total of three times that row that we did knit to two together so just going to repeat that I'll do it one more time and I'll let you do the third row 
So I just, uh, oops, just slip this stitch, oopsie, just like this, and I knit the first stitch, and I do a yarn over, and I knit the two stitches, one, two, and on this stitch, I knit these stitches together, just like this from the back. Just grab it like this, oops. And I do the same here. Just like this. And I knit the two stitches. And I do a yarn over and I knit. So we're done. We're done this part. And you can see the foams are becoming. So continue knitting like this after finish this row and just do the purl, wrong side of the work, the yarn on the front. And uh, do another row of this uh, knit, to, uh, knit one yarn over, just like this. Knit two stitches knit two together and the one more row and knit the back and I'll meet you back we're gonna start the second foam just like that okay this is how it looks like you can see the foams are becoming yeah so we're going to start knitting we're gonna start over again so it's just a repeat of what we did four rows of purl stitch and three rows of uh, knit two together, yarn over, knit one yarn over. So this is just a repeat. So um, this is how you knit this stitch. So I'll just show you one more. Just yarn on the front, you do it four rows. And when you do the back, you do the yarn on the front, on the back, just like this. This is how it looks like from the back. I'm just wondering when the blue yarn is coming like taking forever <laughs> yeah it's creating these uh, stripes like I said this is the first time I'm using it's just, it's just a regular cotton yarn but the stripes it just uh, okay my memory card died <laughs> so I had to go and get them off so I have knitted another row and this is how it looks like so far I just wanted to share it it looks lovely, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> so I came to the back to the beginning, so I'm going to start the third, the third foams. Oh, I love this. Even when you can use your leftover yarn. Yeah, you can make this black. And uh, oh, it looks lovely. So it's just uh, four rows of knit, um, knit from the front. Just like this, and when you do the back of the work, this is the right side of the work, and when you do the back of the work, you do you knit yarn on the back for rows, and then three rows of this. And you can rewind it and go back and uh, look at it. You can pause it. And I just wanted to share you this lovely stitch. I think it looks lovely. Oh my goodness. <laughs> bunch of foams and you can knit scarves baby blanket cardigans you can make you can knit uh, I um, I don't have anything to show you and I fortunately years ago we did not used to take pictures like this now anything I knit I take a picture and I put it on my <laughs> my laptop and I just have it that I made it but nowadays yeah it's easier before we didn't have that chance I had a camera but you had to go like we didn't have computers like this technical so nowadays it's so easy you can take a picture and have it uh, for a lifetime you can make skirts out of this stitch and this is how you knit the foam stitch. I hope you like this tutorial. So please share it with your family and friends. And I'm going to continue knitting because it's very fun to knit. I don't want to <laughs> put it aside. 
I just wanted to measure it with you just to give you an idea like I said I knit I make my dish cloth about eight inches but this will shrink because of the stitch no it didn't no it didn't it's perfect still eight stitch eight inches yeah just a little bit okay, look at it yeah and when I do the edges it will be eight so it doesn't shrink thought it would but it doesn't shrink and uh, share it with your family and friends my tutorials and uh, happy knitting <laughs>